What's up, guys? Nepenthes here, and welcome back to another episode of the Arsenal Road to Glory. Today, we're going to be opening two of the Icon player picks. We are going to be completing an absolutely insane SBC for this Road to Glory, and we're going to also be engaging in our best ever champs run in FC24. Lots to look forward to today. So let's get right in it. These player picks. Come on, give me some good fodder here, EA, please, so I can do the 85 plus player picks. Nice, Laporte's a good start. I need some 84 rated squads. Got some 83s and 82s. So anything sort of like 83 to 86 rating is appreciated. Romelu Lukaku. In the middle of claiming it. How do you, uh, how do you claim it? Where do you go to claim it? Oh, nice. 87, Gregor Cobell. Nice. 86, Tony Gross. Might build a whole bunch of these for uh, Friday as well. Oh, my days. Yeah, look at this gifting out walkouts, man. Oh, my good Lord. All right, let me go and do 10 more because I can't use that fodder for the 85 plus player picks. Yeah, right. 10 more player picks. Come on. Some four, some, look. I mean, I appreciate the walkout fodder from these EA. I really do. I just want some 83s and 84s. I can't lie. Some 84s and 85s, actually, rather. 86 nets. Love of future stars from these. 82s. 83 on Bok. Nice. Mmm, Bok. Do be that. Do up. A kanji. Sergio Bisquets. Annie Olmo. We got very, very, very good return from these uh these player picks. We're gonna have to reuse Marco Asensio. Oh. Inform Rono. I mean that is brilliant. Alright, two of these 85 plus player picks. I wouldn't mind like oh I've already started the Kivior Evo. Which is sad because I wouldn't mind it if it first owned, but wow. Honestly. The uh, the eight one player picks are just better. They're just better. <laughs> what a waste! All right, guys, we are back with twenty more player picks. Uh, I've still got. I've, I've opened all my um, individual player packs, but obviously we need the fodder to do the eight two by twenty save for Friday. Um, I don't think I'm going to do the eighty five plus player pick, guys. I think these eighty one pluses are just good enough. As we get a trend there. The 85 pluses haven't really given us much. So unless we get like a like a healthy duplicate, like you know, a big hefty one. I don't think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm just gonna focus on getting the 82 by 20s in. See, right, there you go. Maybe I will do it now. Yeah, but I'm gonna focus on getting the 82 by 20s in. Yeah, it's lovely. And getting the uh the club stocked for fodder for the upcoming promo. I have basically exhausted all of my commons now. We've still got a few rares, not a huge amount, but we've still got a few rares. But yeah, I'm basically low on commons. But we can still do the daily upgrade, which will give us four more player picks. We'll that Danny Olmo as well. And uh, then it's gameplay time. You know, I want to go and get those last two wins needed in the cup. Uh, all the packs are going to be saved for the brand new promo. And then I would also like to get the champs qualifiers sorted and rivals sorted as well for the 84 by 10 too. So there's a lot to play for, a lot to grind, a lot to get on with. Oh, 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 it's... Another duplicate. It's okay. We can use that. I was hoping we'd get a good one there. But I almost don't want to pack Kivior, you know? Like, I'd feel gutted if I get a uh, first-owned Kivior that I can't put into the new SBC. Oh, give me that 86 Delict. These 81 player picks are just phenomenal. They are so good. We get Iago Aspas there as well. And then we get 83 Rodriguez. Three more of this 20 to go. Oh, yes, please. It's not a crazy one. But we have got 89 Gattuso, our first icon from one of these player picks. He's only three star, three star. He hasn't got the best stats. He hasn't got the best play styles. But it's a fun one to get. Let's go. I might put him in the team for a few games for those last uh, cup wins, I think. That is fantastic. We get a duplicate Robertson as well, which is really nice. And last but not least, 
an 84 Gabriel. Oh, I mean, guys, we yes, please, EA. These are these player picks are beautiful. Come on now. All right, guys, we've got Evo Goldie in the team. Got to get her Evoed up. Uh, we've got a lot of Evos to do in general, to be fair. Brobby and Kivio, I want to focus on. I've gone back for Geo Kiroz in the starting lineup for the qualifiers. Haven't played with her in ages. Obviously, Travellers have been nerfed. So we're going to test that out. I'm in for the 4 4 4 one, one as well. Uh, so we're going to get into our first game. We're going to see how this plays. Now, the good news about Goldie is she doesn't require much by way of games, goals, assists, wins, or whatever. And a lot of it can be done in squad battles. Uh, but the bad news is she's absolutely woeful. And so I wouldn't be surprised if we struggled against teams like this. That Rooney looks delightful, doesn't he? Oh, we both got Willian. Nice. Uh, so I will almost definitely sub her off if things aren't looking stellar. Let's get into the game. Oh, Erdegaard. Oh, Erdegaard, that's delightful, isn't it? That's delightful. Do you know what? Let's get Goldie off now, straight away. Let's bring uh, Kivior on. Hmm. That's delightful. That's delightful. This, this, uh, this, um, Joshua Kimmich. Oh, he's so good. He's so good. He's just so good. All right, now, not that I want to get ahead of myself because I know that was only the first game, but I need to know what I need to do with her. So I do need to get five assists. So I'm going to go one more win. Then we'll then we'll go and get the assist in squad battles for that next segment. Hola, Tassarai. We've got Landersar, Van Dyke, Blanc, Kimmy J. Oh, pretty weak team to be fair. Trossard, let's go, baby. I'm really starting to enjoy this Trossard. Nope, that was just for Erdegaard. Go on, Gio, let's go, baby. Come on. Literally doing exactly what I said. I didn't want him to do. Putting pressure on. And he's got one back. That is all he needed. He's had 30% possession and like two shots. But he's got one back. Let's go, Hemp. Come on. Finally getting some good usage out of Hemp now. How's he managed to squeeze through? That ended up being significantly difficult I don't know what that guy did I don't know what happened in that game but I went from being in the easiest game of my life in the first half to a game that ended up being an absolute struggle in the second half but we got the 2-0 let's go and get Goldie that first upgrade got Doku, Okafor, Henri, Zidane, Charlton it's basically got the same team as me Here it is again, just getting countered again. Oh, that's a really good run. That'll actually be a goal this time. Could have just scored that with Hemp in the first place. Never mind. Bozy Dan, baby. Come on. Oh, end ref warning. Yes, Lev. Go on, pal. But hey, we used Whip Pass to score a goal. Come on. Goal! Goal! Imagine celebrating at 1 1 when you're shit. Sorry for swearing. I'd 7 1 be this guy right now. Holy moly. Lone Haaland. Need to get assists with Goldie. If I can get the two assists in this game. I Actually, I feel like I probably could get the two assists with her in this game. So I'm just going to leave her on for now. There's one. I was going to sub her off, but one more assist and we're Gucci. Then she's done without me having to go into squad battles. There it is. 
Now we can take her off. There's three against this guy. Three, have a word. Yeah, Kate McCabe is, is a great player. I like her a lot. What a finish that is from Hemp. How on earth has that actually flown in? It was red timed. It was keeper's height. If I conceded that goal, I am fuming. I should play like this all the time. It's been better since he's been just trying to protect the ball from me than when he was actually trying to attack. Get away with a cheeky last minute goal. Get out of here, you tramp. Get out of here, you tramp. The whole gold Evo there. Love that. Claim that. Get her upgraded. Throw her into the club to never be seen again until EA allow. Look look how bad that card is, man. 76 rated with 77 defending, 72 passing, 71 dribbling, 60 shooting, 58 pace, and 61 physical. Cost me 100,000 coins. Let's hope it was worth it. Next up, we want to Evo. I kind of do want this Kivior to get upgraded ASAP because, oh yeah, look at those stats. King Pass Plus as well on him will be delightful. So we will we will stick with uh, Jakob Kivior. 30 mm Wonders. Doral Reese, be bright. Smith as well. That Smith is difficult to deal with. Wow, Moffy with 98 pace, 90 shooting. Oh, I've actually got the pen for it. Wow. Pretty surprising. Zinedine. Zinedine. Let's go, baby. Oh, maybe I should have got Kivior to take it. I don't know if I need goals with Kivior or assist. Oh, I've got another pen. Oh. Wow. Mad. Carlos Poyo. People told me that Petr Cech was the best goalkeeper in the game, and he concedes that. NRF, come on. <laughs> NRF, come on. I was got to start, stop diving in, man. Oh, Thierry. Beat this guy at his own game, didn't I? Look at that. Look at that. It's outrageous. It's outrageous. It's like... I mean, we've got the win, which is nice, but... I, I played good. I did not play good. That was a nonsense game. Oh, I got my hero player picks. You get three to do, buddy, okay? So press this one first. All right, let's have a look what we got. Oh, yeah. The red one. You want this one, do you? The red one. You want him. This one? Yeah? That's, his name is Jakob Kivior, and he plays for Arsenal. And I now have a first-owned Jakob Kivior that I can't put into the Evo that he would be great in. That's really annoying. That's a good one, isn't it? All right, press it again. Yeah. <laughs> Which one do you like? You like the blue one, do you? Yeah, that's good. He's the highest rated. It makes the most sense. And then this one, press it again. Good boy. I always. That's the one that opens it. Right, which one do you like the most? Yeah, the one in the middle. Yeah, the one in the middle. He's the red one as well, is he? There you go. You did a good Why job, didn't you? Because that's where that's where people are watching it. Hmm? So we did all right, didn't we? We got Jakob, Jakob Kivior, what? Yari Lipmanen, and Eder Milito. No, he's not Eder Milito. Is he? What's his first name? Diego Milito. Ooh. You want to play? Hold it then. This one is to pass it, okay? So when you get the ball with the red one, this one's to move. This one. And then this one's to pass, okay? Press the pass. This one. Yeah. Good pass, buddy. Now pass to the next one. Good try. Now use this one to move. Oh, he tackled you. Nice. Press, do, do the move. That's it. See how he moves. Don't put it in there. No, don't. Oh. 
<laughs> pass, pass it. Pass it. No, you, you scored a goal. <laughs> I got it down. You scored a goal. Well done. That was good. Nobody else won. Nobody else. Did you win, did you? Yeah. Good boy. Well done. Oh, that's how close that was. Right, press the pass button. Right, you got to try and get the ball this way, okay? So press it. Is that the multiple Yeah, that's right. So you press pass. And now use the move button to, to move around. That's it. So you can move up the field. So walk this way. Walk this way with the move button. That's it. There you go. And now press pass. That's it. And now keep walking. Oh, nearly. What you got to do is a little bit of walking and then one pass, okay? Stay in the line. That's it. Good boy. Oh, my gosh. Good pass. Now press the shoot one. Yes, Tristan! Yeah! Give him five up there. Nice one. He just ran. We scored a goal. We've got yeah. some time left. Yeah. Like three. Yeah, like, like three, yeah. We do that. Yeah, you keep doing the moving, and then you keep doing the passing. But when you get in this box here, you do this one here to shoot, okay? So pass and shoot. Pass and shoot, all right? Go, oh, Daddy. Pass and Which one's pass? pass? And which one shoot? Shit, good boy. That's it. That's the end. Well done. Your first game of FIFA. Well, we only got one. Well, you got one, and they got how many? No. <laughs> they got one as well, and you got one. But Daddy got three. So if we add three... Yes, you add If we add three and one, how many does that make? Oh, three. Five. No. Four. Yes, well done. It makes four. So we got four... And they got one. So who who wins? <laughs> yes, that's right. We won. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, what a team. Let's try to do a step over there with Henri. He's like flicked the ball. Through. I don't understand how people can get these balls like this, man. I could genuinely don't understand. This guy wins possession, passes it once. Eusebio makes an insane run through. And he just puts an easy, easy ball through. Enref, come on. How has he actually guessed that? That's what. You know what I mean? Like, look at that, look at that run from Alexia Patelas. Look at the run from her. I like, I don't, my players do not make these runs. Come on. It's just a joke, man. It's just a joke. Of course, it just, it's just too late, isn't it? Right. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I've moved the keeper there as well. Should have passed it one more time to Henri anyway. Come on. Come on. Come on, Thierry. What should have done to the last guy? Lloris, Ferdinand Maldini. Okay, he's got premium. Premium foot champs cards. Come on, Thierry. Let's go. This guy's obviously like a really, really, really good player. Obviously, we know he's like premium foot champs player by the fact that I look young. As if he gets the rebound there. Hey, like these sweaty players, man, they're just too like, obviously this team, this guy's team is like insane compared to mine as well. It's just everyone's so sweaty. Anyway, GG's to this guy.
Uh, let's get our rewards. Eight and two, not bad because we went to five and zero oh with the um, with the big team. Guess what? No stream snipes. We then switched to the Arsenal team. Guess what? Two stream snipes, and I lost two of them. Um, lost two of the five. That, well, lost both to both stream snipers. However, we do get rank three rewards, which aren't terrible. Two small prime golds, two rare golds, and a jumbo premium gold players pack. Even if anything, just to give good cards for. Um, wait, what do I have? Oh, yeah, just to give good cards for um, player picks. Right, I need to go and use this uh, Milito. Do you know what? I might actually open the fodder that I've got that I was saving for this weekend. Just because I want to do that icon player pick. I don't have any fodder. <laughs> If you're not in glow up. He is, yeah, but I bought one to put in glow up. And then I packed one just today. Like, I didn't... Oh, inform, nice. I didn't expect to... Uh, I didn't expect to pack one, but I should have expected to pack one because he's really commonly packed. Does your gallery on server have some Asian players for Champion Asia? Yes, it does. It does indeed. There's a Bernardo Silver. That's nice to get from an 84+. plus. Got an 84 by 2 See, the 81 by 11 I might as well open... I might save the 82 by 20s for this new promo. And then open the rest of it. Oh, I'll save the 83 by 10 as well, actually. Let me get the rewards before I get a tradable. Before I get a duplicate, sorry. Nice walkouts wouldn't, wouldn't go amiss. Yeah, see, 86 Bellingham is good. Just give me some uh, give me some coins back there. Well, my thoughts on Havertz at Arsenal. I think Havertz is doing absolutely superbly, mate. It took him a bit, bit of time to get really ingrained in the team, but now that he is, he's uh, I, I, I would genuinely say he's one of the first, first names on the team sheet at the moment. He's uh, imperative to the way that we play. A small prime goal players pack, no special. Go on, give me a big card, yeah. Give me, a, give me an eighty-nine or something. Small prime gold players pack number two. No special. Not even an 83 out of those. That's tough. Jumbo premium gold players pack. No special. German though. Could be a walkout. It is a walkout. Oh, double walkout. Love that. Don't know if I should be selling 86s right now because they're down in value, aren't they? But I'll take the coins. Right, we'll do the 81 by 11. No special. Wow. How is it I was getting special out of 84 pluses? But then I'm going to have to use... Oh, that's all. Is that all tradable? Oh, absolutely sensational. Yeah, I'll save the 82 by 20s. Do the 84 by 4. Oh, here we go. I want to do that icon. Oh, it's Kivior, isn't it? It's not. I've just skipped it. I don't know who it is. It's ball. That's <laughs> some ball, that is. And then we'll do the 86 by 2 because I do want to do the icon player pick as well. Future stars, come on. Big one. It's going to be Milinkovic, Savic. And not an icon, which is a shame. Give us a big one. Give us someone fun to play with for a few games in champs. Don't know who that is. Oh, it's Kivio again. <laughs> oh, it doesn't look like Kivio, does it? That's disappointing. The fact that we packed him twice first time now is really sad. All right, not a whopping amount, <clears throat> just 10. I've actually run out of commons almost now. I'm up to 80 rated. I've got a lot of rare golds now, so I need to do the daily objective to get some commons and then maybe grind some league SBCs to get some commons too. But I need some fodder first and foremost to finish off the icon player pick, which we're going to get right now. And I also need some fodder for just like the daily stuff. 88 Leticia, love that. I mean, she's actually going to go into the icon pick, but for Man United fans, she fits into the Evo, I think. Even if she doesn't, that's a that's a good card and a, a good bit of fodder for moi. We'll take Bixby there. Three ladies in a row. We've then got 83 Jekko. I only need an 86 rated squad, you see, and I've got that Jakob Kivio and a few other bits as well. So basically, from what we get here, we should be golden to finish off the icon player pick and then start preparing and building our team for foot champs this weekend. Uh, I don't think I'm going to use the specific Arsenal team. I think we're going to go outside 
of that. Maybe try and get some of the FC Fantasy cards in if we can. If we pack any, it would be nice. Take Yannick Frasco there. I did think he was a duplicate, but that's okay. We can use him. Not a problem. Get 84 Marta there. So these 10, not the greatest. Not the greatest, but not the worst either. Let me go and finish off the Icon player pick now. And here we go, guys. It is done. I've got no fodder left in the club. We need a full restock. A full restock. And the only way to do that is League SBCs. But can we hit ourselves a good... Did I not use Crashco? I took him out. Never mind. I'm going to reuse him anyway. Can we get ourselves... Sol Campbell would be nice to try him. Henri would just be delightful because base Henri... Falling behind the power curve a little bit now. Um... Or just give me like a really good icon, EA. What do we got? Sanchez, Burkamp, and Rivaldo. Rivaldo, 90. Never going to use him. Four star, two star. Got way better cards already. I'm actually going to take Burkamp as a duplicate. For some fodder. We've now got two bits of fodder. And we're going to have to figure out somewhere to put those cards. All right, guys. For the first champs game today, <clears throat> for this week, I've decided to build the team around... The play style that I'm trying to use rather than just using a team of what I think are the best players. So we've got Joshua Kimmich at right back. And the reason why is because he's got ping, ball, ping pass and long ball pass plus. He's also got like, you know, just generally good stats. He's not super fast, but defensively, physically, dribbling, passing, all great. Saliba and Hullet at centre back. Uh, mostly Hullet for the height, anticipate. But he does have long ball pass as well. We've got Jakob Kivior at left back. We are evoing him as well. So hopefully he'll be fully evoed soon. And uh, similarly, on that shadow, he's got great pace, great defending, very good physicals, very good passing and good dribbling. He's going to be the defensive left back, uh, fullback, whereas Kimmich will be the offensive player. We've got Bruno Fernandes and Zinedine Zidane in the midfield. Bruno Fernandes for that uh, long ball pass plus. And uh, he is pretty big as well, 5'10 with uh, great stats. And then obviously Zidane because I want that big player in there. Five star, five star, six foot one, just generally cracking stats. At right mid, I'm playing 4'4'2, so Oli's will be right mid. We've got Oli's. Five star, four star, six foot two, and has ping pass plus, which is going to become very, very, very important. And then Catley is going to be our left mid. Uh, she's obviously four star, four star, with great stats and very good play styles. And then up front, I've got Pele, but the person I'm most likely, most looking forward to using is Pop. Um, we're using the team of the year loan. She's only five nine, high, high, four star, five star, but she has got aerial plus, power header, bruiser, acrobatic, uh, among the finesse shot plus. Let's get into our first game of foot champs. See if this tactic works out very well. So as we get into this first game, guys, what I'm trying to do is still master this tactic and master the understanding of what I'm trying to do. And based on the team that I've put together, you guys could probably figure out that the long ball pass, it's very, very good. This guy's got a really nice uh, front line. Um, and I was playing around with it yesterday and the day before in champs qualifiers and in a few other bits. And it's crazy how broken that is and then when you've got someone like pop in the midfield as well or sorry in the attack should i say it's even crazier i'll be a freak yeah doesn't matter um it's just it's just genuinely mad that that is so successful and it's not pretty and obviously i would like somebody with whip pass plus in that area um I hope that was just for Bruno Fernandes right there. Um, but i just got a feeling it's going to be good. And the idea is to get it to Elise, who, who is the person that I mostly want on Whip Pass Plus for. But the idea is to get it to him, or to Catley, because she has got Whip Pass, and then literally whip that pass to... Uh, whip, that, whip that pass to... Um, pop, basically. Pop this here. Oh, couldn't get that one. And so one of the reasons why I've got Rude Hullet in the team is because there's Pop. Oh, what a save. It's because he's also, or not in the team in general, we've got him in the team because he's a beast, but we've got him in that centre-back spot because, oh, this guy's hanging on for dear life. Not only is he a beast defensively, he's got that long ball pass as well. So in situations like where I just showed you, where I end up save where i end up with the ball with the center back and the left back's gone or the right back's gone we're good with it because we could just do this instead bomb and it's just so accurate and so nice 
We've got Catley into Pop. We've got Pop through. And it's, it, it genuinely, at this stage, it's genuinely the attackers that I need to figure out. The midfield, the defence, I like it a lot. Those forwards that we need to get. Like, I want Brobby and Okafor, effectively. Like, once I get Brobby and Okafor, two absolute tanks up front, I really want the um, the acrobatic plus. Uh, that's a big one for me. Um, and it's going to be real important to the way the team plays. And this is why we've got Ali's out there. It's big. And we didn't we did win the header even though we didn't keep the possession, but Ali's is big. Oh, here's his first proper attack. Can't believe it. I might have had 70%, 75% possession against this guy, guys. First proper attack. Holy schmoly. Let's go, Pele. Come on. Little bit better on the uh, edge of the box there to, to create the chance. Didn't quite waste that one. Need to be better like that more now. That should be the half. Ref, that should be half time. Ref, that's got to be half time. Thank you. All right. First half, 1 1. We've conceded one counter attack. But we have been in absolute control 62 percent possession only two shots that's what i've got to work on um what are we going to do we're going to bring averts into this left mid role i'm going to bring russo up front over pele and we're going to try and bring i'm going to bring willian on for elise as well whip pass plus on Havertz. whip pass on willian power header and aerial on pop and russo if you're on kimmich with the long ball pass plus so it's switched to the sides, whip to the striker. It's not great. It's not pretty, but it's fun. And uh, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But let's try it. Let's try the second half. Let's let's go Kimmich's side this time. Now that we've got Havertz out there, I'm hoping. Oh, that was Saliba. That's not what we want. Oh, that is exactly what we want. There's no way. I've literally... I have literally pressed tackle with Hullet on him there. That is absurd. That is literally absurd. Come on, Pop. Let's go. Oh, a bit better again. It's, it's taking me to go 1-0 down to just like, or a goal down to just come up against this guy and be a bit smarter, isn't it? Hey, there we go. Come on. At last. At last. Nice, Zizou. GG's, guys. Right. Lots of work to be done with this style of play. Most specifically, like I say, with the strikers. In terms of the game itself, I know it's not pretty. <laughs> I know it's not. It's so dumb. But in terms of the game itself, 134 passes attempted. Really good possession. Really good pass accuracy. Massive XG. The only thing I couldn't figure out and you can see which side I kept going to as well. But the only thing I couldn't really figure out was getting the ball to the strikers. So once I can sort that out, maybe like 4-4-1-1 would be better and having one striker only. But once I can sort that out, we can cook with this. We can cook. Even even, even if we just get like better with the wingers and cutting inside and, and getting that sort, sort of uh, play on as well, we can cook with this. But that is game one done. All right, what are we up against? 92ers. Bandasar. Okay. Okay, that, that's like a reasonable team. Tried to play a switch there, and they just switched me off. You cannot seriously be thinking that. Gonna be quitting a one 0 after two minutes. One, nice, nice, much better combination. There. How come it's not? What am I doing? Is it? Does it have to be just a regular cross? Does it have to be a an R one cross? Like, what am I doing that's not getting it? What am I doing that's not getting it? Lovely finish from Xerxes, that. Of 
Go on in, Robster. Go on in, go on in. GG's. GG's. Why don't, you, why don't you open yourself up to the possibility of just attacking in multiple ways instead of one way? Just end up, like, enjoying the game more. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, we're a double pause for that guy. <laughs> he, he wasn't a bad player either, to be fair. Four and one is nice. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not displeased with four and one. I thought I'd have, like, a good handful of players. Right, we've got win 15 for an 85 by three for Evian. And a milestone must be the goals thing. Those goals up to 80. Werner, I think Werner's very good, mate. Yeah, I think Werner's very good. I play 83 plus. 86 Pedri, delightful. I want to start with my 83 by 10. Come on, give me one of these blues. Give me a walkout. Argentina, right right back. Double walk, what? Oh, Molina actually showed up as the card. So we've already hit our first one. There you go. Oberdorf in there as well. Now, Molina could be fun to play with because he's got Whip Pass Plus and really good play styles and decent stats. Can play right mid, four star, four star. Delightful. I'm, I might just have to throw him into the team for some games. 482 by 20s. What have we got? Italian. Right wing. It's Politano, isn't it? Yeah. I've got another one in a double walkout where it's not showing the, the actual thing, it's showing Politano first with Luca Modric. That's two, two packed already. Delightful. Modric Fromes. Only one dupe here as well. Man, Politano might have to go into the team as well. I think he's going to be sick. I think he's going to be a lot of fun to play with. He does need a couple of upgrades to be like elite. But he's all right. He's all right. And that, only one, one dupe to throw away there as well because I've got nothing in the club by way of or fodder, really. Another one. Dutch. Centre mid. Barcelona. Double walkout with Frankie. Werner's going to be completed in no time, isn't he? Who is it? Bronze? Is bronze. Should have one in here as well. Oh, Trent in there as well. Three dupes. No specials. Done that in so long. Holy mother, that's bad. It happens, mate. It happens. Only once, mind you. Another 82 by 20. Here we go. French. DDM Kante. Not. Oh, hold on. That's Andre, isn't it? Mine Jan Hummels. It is. Another one. How about that? <laughs> now we've got three of them. Lovely. Keep it coming, eh? I shouldn't throw this stuff away, but I'm just enjoying packing one per pack. Enjoying packing one per pack. Here we go. Another one. Another one. Oh, yeah, here we go. Come on. Double walkout on this one. Spain. Aspas this time. Oh, there's a hero in here. There's the purple thing. No? No. I saw purple and I got excited. It's just Aspas. Damn it. Well, that's still good. At least I didn't get any dupes either. Well, any duplicate, like, blues. Man, I actually really like the look of Aspas as well. I know that they're all the bottom feeder ones that I've just picked up. But we are going to have to put them all onto the bench. Maybe some of them into the starting lineup and have a few games with them. Because that is nice. We've got an 85 plus from EA. EA Sport. It's in the game. Lewandowski. Chesney. Is this the RTG? This is the RTG. We've been niced by EA on this one. We've got an 84 by 5. No special here. It's going to be Cobel dupe in it. Nope, no dupe. Gabriel Jesus in there. Martins as well. Oh, my finger slipped off. Never mind. All right. Two 84 single rares. I saved this from the daily play. All right. Dion goes into the exchange. Now that the exchange is back, happy. Oh, happy day. What do I think about it? Yeah, I love the fact the exchange is back. Uh, the, the timing of them is interesting to me. The fact that they're there for 55 days genuinely makes me feel like that's when team of the season is going to start. We get 84 Chiesa. At least it's not a dupe. We've got an 83 by 2. Bit of a dead, dead pack. Let me do the 85 by 4. The 85 by 3. 5 by 4, 85 by 3. 
Here we go. Eight five by three. No special. French Mbappe. Dembele. Oh, bronze and Pedri. Two more exchange packs. Eighty five by four. No special. Spain. Espanola. Yeah, duplicate Mayan. Good stuff in there again as well. Do the eighty by five. No special. Oh my days. Dupe Trent. Dupe Politano already. That's wild, isn't it? I'm telling you, man. This game this game's this game's about to be fun in the menus again now. A small prime gold players pack. Hey, even though we didn't get too too much at the back end of that, those 82 by 20s were delightful. They were delightful. We've got four usable um FC fantasy cards. Which is nice. But since that Futre is an, a new player, why not? You know, why not put him in a in a team and, and play some games? I've got Carrasco to start. One walkout and I'll do ten more guys, alright? Get Brandt and Martinez. Or Brandt or Martinez, should I say. Oh, now we get Martinez. Thank God I didn't take Martinez the first time. Take Arnold. Rumors they're lining up five at the back with a non-recognized striker. They're 100% playing for counters for 90 minutes. Yeah, fair enough. But Danny Olmo. Well, for other people, these are apparently cracked. But for me, not cracked. They're crap. Four more to go. Hey, we get a walkout. We'll build 10 more. Little Kim, baby, let's go. Take Chris Smalling as well. I do want to beat Timo Werner. What rating is Werner? I don't think he can be in the cup, can he? Man, that, that 186 little... Saved, saved the setup for us to go and build 10 more. Right, guys, before we get into the next round of Champs games, Werner, Scott, I want them both, especially Alex Scott. She's going to go into the team 100%, even without any upgrades, and I expect her to get uh, one at least, but I'm really hopeful for, for two upgrades for Alex Scott. He looks awesome. She's got great play styles, and uh, she obviously is ex-Arsenal, so she fits into the team very nicely. EA have re-released the 83 by 10. We could do it three times per day. So I've got it three times right here. I need an inform. Um, so if I get a duplicate, I'm going to go and farm an inform from it. And uh, I, I've got a lot of high rated fodder already. I actually just need an inform more than anything. So hopefully we'll get one at one of these 83. Oh, what have I got as a duplicate already? Oh, say it ain't so. All right, well, to get rid of that fodder, I went and built on team of the week player pick. So uh, here we go. Uh, we save all of that, which is nice. We get ourselves our team of the week, which is, wow, 87 rated youth. I'll tell you why that's really awesome, because that's going to help out massively towards building those those SBCs, because they it's an 87, 86, 85 rated for Scott, and they all require informs. Um, so let's get our first 83 by 10. It's not a future stars. Swiss, it's going to be Cobell. That's nice. It might be a duplicate. Hopefully a double walkout. Well, that is amazing. We also, oh my God, we also get 89 Allison. We get Inform Jutta, Allison, Llorente, Kobel, Oberoff. There is four walkouts here. And Jutta, who's technically a walkout as well. Five walkouts. Let me go and build the first section of Alex Scott. Right, the high rated stuff went into the 87 rated squad for Alex Scott. The lower rated stuff went back into another team of the week player pick. We'll save those into the club as well which gives us now all of the informs we need. And we get 85 Saul or Stanisic. I'll take Saul. It doesn't make any difference. I've now got a whole bunch of tradable packs as well, guys, just from doing the uh, those, those SBCs. You know, you get a couple of like little tradable packs from the Team of the Week upgrade. But we're going to go for the 83 by 10. It's no special again. It's German. It's center mid. It's going to be Kroos or Gundogan. It's Tony Kroos. Kroos. Okay, so we could have a fancy FC card in here. We could have a inform in here. Either of them would be nice. Would be nice to get another fancy card. We have got two 86s. Kroos and Sadio Mane. And, oh yes, let's go. I know he's cheap, right? I know he is. In fact, I can't believe how cheap he is. He is under 50,000 coins, which is wild because I love this card. I've always loved Acuna in this game. I don't know why. Since his, uh, he had like, um before the World Cup version, which I also loved, he had a card. And even if this card doesn't get an upgrade, I want him in my team. Uh, I think in midfield is going to be better, like the best play for him. But he's got amazing play styles. 
four star, four star, high, high work rate. He is going in the foot champs team. We've got 84 Hoiberg and 83 Merritt. We accidentally threw those guys away. Whoops, my bad. And we've got another 83 by 10 to help us on our way to Alex Scott. We've got an inform out of this one. So it's going to be Endler as well. So a massive walkout again and an inform, which is great. Who's the inform going to be? Erdegaard, come on. Give me another Arsenal inform. Is it Erdegaard? It is Erdegaard. How about that? Now, I know I've already got his Centurions card, but this, this inform is just nice to have, isn't it? It's very nice to have. Oh, we get Stark in there as well. So 89 Erdegaard. It's a shame they just didn't give him two playstyle pluses and like three or four star weak foot because then he'd be insane. He's got really good playstyles. I'm going to have to compare him to the Centurions. I think the Centurions is better. We also get Stark. But with that, we can now complete Alex Scott. And here we go, guys. That is Alex Scott completed. We will be working on the Icon player pick and the Timo Werner as well um, throughout the coming days. But we needed Alex Scott in our team. Don't even need to see her walk out. Although maybe I should have done because she's got the Arsenal kit on. But into the club she goes. And let's see what that does for the actual team. And we do need to get into some champs games as well uh, for that. So this was our cup team, which I'm actually going to be going and playing some more cup games uh, shortly. And then this is the team we're using otherwise. So Trent is going to be out of the team, not for any bad reason, because he's been brilliant. But Alex Scott is going to go into the team. We're going to get a Shadow Chem style on her. And uh, I'm actually going to not be upgrading Kivior for the next moments because I want to use him as an 87 rated in the cup which means this is the squad we're going to go back into some foot champs games with. So let's go. And with that, guys, we are getting into our first big foot champs post-com gameplay run. At this moment, we are four wins and one loss, um, which even in itself, I was like, oh, that's all right. You know, I was pretty pleased with four and one because um, it wasn't going so well. And I want to talk a little bit about the big gameplay change that I've made here that you're going to see uh, before we get into a couple of comments. And the big change that I made mostly, I switched into a 4-4-2. I can't remember what, stem, what stemmed it. Oh, I can remember what stemmed it. I was, I have whip pass plus players, right? I have Kai Havertz. I've just never been able to utilize his whip pass plus. I have um, Hemp, who I thought in my head, I'm like, let's get Hemp out on the team. Let's put like, you know, Brobby and Xerxes up front and it's just going to be easy goals. And the truth of the matter was is that it wasn't easy goals. It was really hard, and I just could not get to grips. And I have people in my comment section all the time being like, Nep, I use Whip Pass Plus all the time. I score like, you know, two or three goals per game because of Whip Pass Plus. And that some, some people don't even have like tall strikers up front. Like you don't actually need monster strikers or tall strikers to uh, utilize Whip Pass Plus. And it got me to thinking, and I, like, I was getting frustrated, like really frustrated because, you know, there's something with this game about actually learning how to play. And I was just built, like I was just playing with a playstyle or a playstyle plus and just expecting it to go well. And that's just a really, really, really terrible way to play the game. You know, there is there's there's a difference between doing something a lot to become experienced at it and consciously improving at something. And I've spoken about this before. So I did something. I, I went on to Zwayback's video. That's right, Mr. Mr. Zwayback uh, and his whip pass plus crosses because he is a beast with whip pass pluses, whip, whip pass, uh, just with crossing in general. He loves crossing. And between watching that and kind of like taking some input from the stream chat, there was a very noticeable thing that kept happening when he would score off of a cross. And that noticeable thing was that when the player run past like got effectively on the line of the box or where Vinicius Jr. was there, like when he crosses the line of the box. If you cross the ball when the player is on that line, that's when it just seems to connect. It's not like a guaranteed goal and, and there's still a lot of experimenting to do because once we finally get Brobby fully evoed, he'll not only have power header and aerial and be massive and have insane stats, he'll also have acrobatic and there's some things that I want to try with that. But uh, like it, it was like a door unlocked it was like a light had switched on in my head when it came to understanding how to get the crosses in and because i started crossing the ball um and being successful with it it one of two things happened 
first of all, personally for me, I kind of felt a little bit more confident when I had the ball in situations where I knew I wouldn't have scored from before. You know, when I've got the ball on like the, like, you know, cutting down the byline, instead of me thinking, oh God, I have to either like get into the box for a cutback or find a way to like hit a Travella. I was like, now I've got options. Now I can hit a cutback. I can dribble into the box. We can do skill moves. We can come to the top of the box for a power shot or a Travella or a finesse shot, or we can cross the ball. And it became really, really, really easy to just have an extra tool to unlock easier goals. And so I started playing with a lot more confidence and I started not caring if I conceded a goal because I know, like, in fact, in most games that you're about to see, I concede lots of goals still because I still haven't quite figured out a way to efficiently score every time. And I think that's what's really important in this game. Like, for me personally, again, at least... I concede most goals. Look at that ball to Henri. Look at that ball to Henri. As he's crossing into the box, I just whip the ball. I never would have crossed it there. I would have gone further another 10 yards and then tried to cross it. But um, yeah, most goals that I concede come from me losing possession in the final third, getting countered and then conceding. And now I'm like, I don't care because I, I've got faith that I'm going to score a lot of goals. And one of the other things that really, really helped me was applying another one of the broken game mechanics in this game that doesn't actually get used much, and that is long ball pass or long ball pass plus. And you'll notice that like Rude Hullet has it in at centre back. Jakob Kivior has long ball pass plus. Bruno Fernandez has long ball pass plus. And even against teams like this, where it's like an insane team, and again, I did concede and see what he does there. I would never try that before, but now I would. Just a, a random ball through. What long ball pass plus allows me to do is when I've got the ball with Jakob Kivior, you know, I've had Catley at left back for 500 games, 600 games, maybe even 700 games I've had her at left back. And in my mind, I was like, Catley's never going to leave the game, right? Because she's just so good. But see that ball with Robbie, he doesn't even have long ball pass, right? It's that little dink ball that I've started to do now that's making a wild difference. But let me let me talk, let me go back first to like the defensive side of things. Normally, when I get the ball and somebody is pressing really high press 60 you know 72 depth or whatever i just complain i'm like oh my god guys what am i supposed to do like this is so hard they're pressing they've got all these like meta players all these icons all these great players and i just can't get out long ball pass plus it is the anti-press i'm i'm not even kidding guys have a defender with long ball pass or long ball pass plus and it will be the greatest thing you've ever done you won't see it much in here because it actually didn't end up creating lots of goals. But the amount of times I've got I won possession, got the ball to Jakob, Jakob Kivior and did one of two things, right? Thing number one was just w like cross-fielding the ball all the way through to Willian and Willian then being in space and allowing me the, an attack. But not even just allowing me an attack, allowing me the ability to relieve the pressure. Or number two is literally just dinking it over that first line of attack, right? Because what happens is, is like, when I've got those big players, Zidane in the midfield, Bruno Fernandes, who's, you know, still, he's got a big frame, he's 5'10 in game. When I've got those big players in the in the midfield, or just anyone in any any reasonable amount of space, getting the ball with Kivior, just tapping square, bosh, it just releases the pressure. And see that ball there? That's what I'm talking about. Long ball across to Willian, releases the pressure, Gives me a counter-attack. These are the areas. Okay, I've scored off of that. These are the areas where I've got to do better. Because it's the amount of times I get into situations like this. Don't score. Get countered. Concede. I've got to work on that. And I'm hoping by the time we get probably upgraded and then Okafor as well. I'm hoping I'll just be able to have a real good fun um, with using those Evo cards. And so just these two cha changes to the way that I've played... Everything else is the same. I'm not player locking still. I'm not I'm not like abusing skill moves. I'm still defending terribly. Like genuinely terribly. But the ability to release the pressure defensively and the ability to have multiple scoring opportunities made things real easy for me to the point where as well, like I started getting into like the attacking third, and you've already seen a few goals from it, and you'll see more as we start going like for further into the gameplay. I started getting into the attacking third. And recognizing the opportunity to just dink a ball instead of trying to ground, trying a ground pass and it getting intercepted, and me being like, "Oh my days!" Like, how has he intercepted that? I'll just do a little dink, 
little dink ball, little little ball up the top, little you know, even if it's like from a midfielder to a midfielder and doesn't really do anything other than just give me possession, I started doing it. And it just again, it just it creates the illusion for your opponent that you're very good at the game. And once you think you're against somebody who's very good at the game, you panic, or at least I do anyway, and I presume a lot of other people will like me. Like when you think you're up against someone who's insane and you're like, oh God, like, you know, um, what can I do sort of thing? Like you end up, you, your own mental goes. And, and I felt like I had more rage quits than ever before. I found it easier to just beat big teams and big players than ever before. We lost that one. I, I put a, gave a good account of myself in that game, to be fair, but we did lose that one. And uh, yeah, it, it was it was just nice. It was just nice to be able to actually play this game and for the first time feel confident. And one of the biggest things for me um, that I did this weekend that I said I would eventually do is I played all of these games off stream, right? Look at that, a 1-0 rage quit 17 minutes in. I played all of these games off stream. I thought, you know what? Let me just try it. Let me see what happens. And you'll see the results at the end that the amount of wins I got wasn't significantly different, but the experience I had was. And that for me was really important. And so going forwards, there's a few other bits and bobs that I really want to utilize. I think could be fun ways of scoring in this game. For example, I, you know, I talked recently about how Acrobatic Plus is like one of the most pointless um, play styles in the game, right? See that there? The ball roll, the the chip, the chip ball, the one-two is, is nice play, right? But yeah, Acrobatic Plus, uh, one of the most pointless, um, one of the most pointless play styles. And then I had people start telling me, what do you mean that? I scored loads of goals because of Acrobatic Plus. And I'm like, wait, what? People are actually doing that? And so it actually turns out that there's two really fun ways to score from Acrobatic Plus. I haven't practiced them yet. I haven't tried them yet. I haven't mastered them yet. One of those ways is by getting somebody that has trickster and acrobatic and doing a trickster flick to get the ball up and then hitting an acrobatic shot. And just like travellers and just like volleys and power shots and things like that, acrobatic shots, like bicycle kicks and stuff, seem to just be far more accurate and so they go in a lot more, which is awesome and nice, right? The other thing that has been uh, very potentially available for acrobatic plus players, which is why I'm really excited to get Okafor and Brobby in, is that getting the ball in the midfield area and having your striker just have like be on the edge of the box with their back to goal almost and just using the long ball pass slash long ball pass plus to get the ball up to them and then just hitting shoot is supposedly creating some really good options to score and what i really like about like this next week kind of like figuring that system out and figuring out to score from that is i feel like the times of old where I'm no longer relying on one specific way to score. You know, this year, I was struggling, man. I was struggling. It was cutbacks. Then I was like, doing as soon as Gio Kiro's got Travella Plus, it was just Travellas. Previous years, I've always had multiple scoring methods. So this time around, it feels like I'm back to having multiple scoring methods, which is awesome. And so with that gameplay there, guys, I am now 11 and 2. And... Obviously, my team has changed a bit. <clears throat> uh, my play style has changed dramatically. But for this weekend, I decided to make a conscious effort to play every game off stream. And uh, that's where we're at. You know, I lost I lost a game to a guy with the super team. I think I only lost by one goal and I did well in that game as well. So I've got a chem style on Alex Scott. But yeah, she has been as good as I had hoped. Well, wow. Um, something is just different with this team. Or the way I'm playing, it feels, I don't feel anymore under intense pressure every time I've got the ball because I feel I have the tools to deal with it. And it's just really nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at, so first of all, we've got the evolutions. Brobby's got to be quite close now. Yeah, there you go. So I need four more wins to get him up to the 90 rated card. I might not get him to the 90 rated because I want to use him in the, um, in the cup. So what I might do is once those wins come in, I just won't claim that final upgrade until after the cup. But Brobby's been very good. Um, and once he gets that full upgrade, I am very excited with Acrobatic on him as well. And we should have, I would have thought, completed a whole bunch of objectives and so given ourselves some nice packs. So nothing there, nothing there. So we have got Foot Champs bonus. I need to play one more for an 85 by 4 but I have got an 84 by 4 right here and of course it's going to go into uh everything else i'm going to be saving the fantasy fc cup rewards 
so that we can open them all together in a video uh, later on. We have completed the FC Fantasy uh, Nerea Izagire. Got some really good packs from that as well, which is quite nice and a nice player to have. And we could obviously go and use her in the cup as well, which is quite nice. And then uh, I actually don't think I've done much, much more than that, to be fair. Uh, so we'll go and rip those packs either way, mind you. Um, and then I want to start doing the 150 thingy my bobbies to get the rewards from that as well, because there's some really nice rewards in that too. So um, obviously everything that we pick up right now is going to be really, really useful for that. And then now that we're 11 and 2, I'm not going to sit here and try and pretend like 16 or 18 wins is on the cards because it's not, right? 14 would be an amazing, amazing set of rewards to get. So especially given how difficult things have been for me recently on this game. So yeah, we're, you know, we're just going to maintain focused. We're going to try our best. Oh, we get Chesney there. Very nice. We're going to try our best to, um, to just go ahead and uh, keep playing the way we're playing. It's likely now we're going to take some L's because we're at a really high form. And just see if we can get ourselves the uh, yeah the 14 win rewards. Worst case scenario, one of the things I wanted was 12 wins or 13 wins because I want to get the premium red. It'll be the first time we get a premium red. Um, I'll probably put it on... Oh, that could be Tierney. That could be Robertson. Uh, I actually don't know who I'll put it on, to be fair. But I might put it on somebody that, you know, I might put it on Scott. I don't know if she'll still get upgraded. Let me stop opening these. Let's open the 82 by 2. You don't care about those small mixed players pack and stuff. We just want to see some good packs. Is that Cobell again? No, Lamar and Akanji there. Always good to get the 82 fodder back into the club as well. 75 by 5. No special card. Could be a walkout. Not a walkout. It leaves us with an 80 Andre Silva. I'm going to be saving all players now because they're all going to be going into the uh, the upgrades and stuff. You know, I'm not going to be throwing anything away. And that leaves us with an 83 by 3 for right now. Brasil, goalkeeper, could be very, very good. Oh, yeah, it's an 89. Right, let me go and use him. And that is one of the icon pick segments done. Uh, we get to save those three players right there. Happy days. And uh, it leaves us with an 84 by 4 before carrying on with our foot champs games. What do we get? We get an inform, which is great. Brazil, right mid. Benfica's David Neres is in form. No double walkout, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but it's another inform, which is going to be really, really handy. Oh, it's a double inform. That is really, really, really handy. I know they're quite cheap at the moment. But that is just going to allow me to uh, complete that player pick very quickly. And so just as we go into the games here, guys, obviously being 11-2 and two is absolutely outstanding. Um, bit of a spoiler here, I suppose, but we are going to win the next two games. But I did have a, just three comments from the last video to talk about. And the first one is, uh, so now you're not doing the Arsenal team until six losses. This series has changed more than the weather lull. I'm not doing the Arsenal team until six losses. Maybe I'll go back to it, but I'm, I'm, I'm searching for me enjoying this, which I am now, and creating enjoyable content. And sometimes I like I have an idea where I'm like, oh, that'd be really good. And then when I put it into practice, it's actually really bad and really boring. Uh, so I obviously don't stick with it and, and don't carry on because you guys wouldn't enjoy me playing with the Arsenal team for like 10 or 11 games, crying, complaining, moaning, losing, excusing. Like it, it would it just wouldn't make for good content. So I didn't do it in the end. Um, we've also got one from uh, Errol. He says, love the content as always, Nep. I know you've said you can also re re retrieve promo cards from various SBCs. But do you find yourself wanting to hold on to certain cards since the recent Evos that have included a range of promo cards and player of the months? I've held on to certain cards in case of Evos and Cherky has finally made it pay off. Yes. Um, not in terms of Arsenal players because we actually haven't had that many SBCs cards or promo cards that haven't just gone into the team anyway. But there's a lot of cards that I hold on to that tend to just be the Arsenal Arsenal present cards. Kieran Tierney, uh, Hector Bellerin, Lucas Podolski to name uh, just three. I'm always like, oh, I'll just put them into an SBC because I'll never need them. I'll never use them. And, you know, I can always get them back once we get like the best of or, you know, eventually they'll just be in packs or picks again. And so I'm like, yeah, I will. Uh, I'll just I'll just throw them in an SBC. And then like, well, I'm actually not going to throw them in an SBC because what if? And then that whole what if eventually came true because during the current cup run, Podolski was in the team. I didn't actually use Bellerin uh, because I used a lot of those FC fantasy cards. 
But yeah, Podolski was in the team, which was really good. And then Tank says, don't see why you don't give the last few games away when you get a lot of free wins from people because of your name. What? First of all, I don't get any free wins because of my name. In fact, I get stream sniped because of my name. I, it's harder for me because of my name, not easier. And secondly, the reason why I don't give away free wins is because there's objectives outside of champs in milestones or objectives that require wins over a longer period of time. So giving away free wins now, it just doesn't happen anymore. And it was smart for me eh, to do that because it has stopped a lot of gifted wins. All right, guys, just a little bit of gameplay there again. Uh, just a brief amount. We got two more wins out of two, which leaves us 13 and two. We now have the play 50 and win 25 rewards from the future stars champs bonus, which I'm going to take right now. And we've got one milestone as well, which I presume will be scoring in like 80 games or something like that. Oh, it's 90 now. So an 83 by two. Um, I've not been in this situation in FC 24 yet. And I don't even remember if FIFA 23 I ever got to 13 and two. Um, so this is most certainly for me, my best weekend in a long, long, long time. But still feel like I've got a little bit of work to do. Oh, that's going to be a walkout, is it? It is nice. Um, and I'm still sitting here with five games to go, thinking to myself, just don't choke 14. <laughs> I know it sounds a bit mad, but I just don't want to choke 14. So we don't get a special card out of this. Oh, that's going to be Aspas, isn't it? Oh, my days. All right, Aspas and Acuna. I haven't even put Acuna into the team yet either, and I do want him in the team, but the what I've got going on right now is working so well. But that gives me Iago Aspas and Acuna to finish off the icon pick. And here we go, guys. So all of my fodder is now gone in terms of gold-rated fodder. I'm starting at 84s. I've got quite a few of them. So our 83 by 10s post 6 p.m. are going to be nice and easy. You've got a couple of informs as well, which is nice. Not a problem. If not, I can just build some inform player picks. I might have used them already. But we've got another, another 88 base Thunderstruck or Winter Wildcard icon. The one specific player I would like the most is Thierry Henry, right? But I'll take like a Ronaldo or something, you know? I'll take a, a 90 Hullet. Give me something big, yeah. Come on, what have we got? We get Loudrop, Nedved, Cannavaro. Do you know what's mad? Loudrop's actually not half bad. And I don't need him anymore because of spot. He's got some really good stuff. Six foot tall, four star, four star. Not, not a bad card, but probably probably fodder. But let's go and get our next uh, champs game. All right, guys, I've got one game left. I'm on 15 wins. I just lost to a guy who had an insane team. And I swear, man, oh, I'm, I'm devastated. 11 shots for me. 2.2 XG. He had 0 0.8 XG, just two counterattacks. That's all he got. Two counterattacks. Look at where my shots are from. He had team of the... I'll show you his team. He had team of the year check. He had team of the year Ronaldo. He had 95 Pele, 93 Cruyff, Team of the Year Sour, uh, the Team of the Year Honourable Mention Trent, um, the Special Roberto Carlos, Team of the Year Ferdinand, the Special Marquinhos and 88 James. And I'm like, oh man, I, like I did everything I could in this game. It just his check made save after save after save. However, regardless of where we finish on this one, look at that, his check got man of the match. It's not even surprising. Wherever we finish on this one, guys, um... It's been a massive, massive increase compared to previous uh, weekend leagues. So, you know, we're 15 and 4. If we even finish 15 and 5, I'm still genuinely, genuinely happy with that. But let's get this last game. Well, guys, unfortunately, this guy is going to take the dub. Uh, I've actually had a really good game. I got a red card for an innocuous challenge. I don't think it was a challenge. But this guy has got team of the year Messi, team of the year Mbappe, Thunderstruck Ronaldinho, Team of the Year Best and Sour, 90 rated Hullet, uh, th uh, yeah, Thunderstruck Cafu, the regular Maldini, 93 Yashin, Team of the Year Lam, and Team of well, the Thunderstruck Van der Sar. And I think, as like, we'll, we'll just back out of this one because there's no point playing this one with 10 men. And I'm, again, genuinely delighted with 15 and 5. It is close to 16, it's something to progress for. But the biggest difference in the games that I lost versus the games that I won was the teams. I, I beat a couple of massive teams. I beat that big team of the year team, which was very nice. But I lost to a team of the year Ronaldo and a team of the year Mbappe. Like, in, in you know, that game, it probably would have ended up five, six, seven, eight goals to him because I had 10 men. But 
the way I've been playing, counter-attacks are everything that I'm conceding. And I don't really mind them too much because I'm scoring a lot of goals. Um, and once I get Brobby and Okafor and fully upgraded, I think I'm going to be scoring even more goals. And I genuinely think we can push on for a few extra wins. Um, so, yeah, happy, really happy in that regard. And, yeah, generally speaking, like, just 15 and 5 and, like, even the losses, they're not losses where I'm, like, I felt like I was better and I got cheesed by the game. They were losses where I was doing really good and just not scoring goals and conceded some counters. And it's, like, it, it's weird, like, because because I was playing good even though I lost, I don't mind it so much compared to playing bad, but knowing that I can win, which is really, really weird to say. But let's get our rewards. So we get all 84s out of the first set, which is not ideal. We get all 84s out of the second set. EA, yeah, come on, man. 15 and 5, my best rewards yet. And we get an 86 rated out of these player picks. It's just devastating, isn't it? It's just not very good. Um, but we've got some store packs as well. We've got a chance still. What, we've got four store packs? Um, we've got the Jumbo Rares player pack, and obviously we've got a lot of uh, coins as well, which is nice. We get a German. Let's just get some walkouts here, please. Well, well, well. Very tough. Very tough. Um, hopefully the ultimate pack will be better. Never mind. Not even an inform out of these guys. I mean... That is awful. <laughs> that is absolutely awful. Um, yeah. It's one of those ones, though, where on this occasion, you know, we already knew and we already know that weekend league rewards just generally aren't worth it compared to what you can get in the game. Um, however, is that going to be Bremer, Danilo? However, um, Bremer, never mind. Um It wasn't a stress this time around to get here, so I'm not actually that fast. Right, an 85 by 3. It's going to be just... Please be Trent. That might have... That might genuinely be the literal worst foot champs rewards you will ever see. We got 187, 385s, and nothing else. And 186 from the player picks. That is unreal. However... That is going to be the end of the video for today. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Before we actually do get out of here, again, just to show you guys, the team that we used for this weekend league was this. And I tell you, one of the players that I that was insane, that I didn't think would be insane, that, you know, people have told me was bad or whatever, was this man right here. He's been phenomenal. Like, honestly, probably the best card in the team. Um... Xerxes and Brobby need upgrading. Kemp's brilliant. Willian, I really, really, really like Willian. I think he's insane. Bruno Fernandes is amazing. Scott was amazing. Kivior was amazing. The two centre-backs, Saliba and Bullet, were amazing. So we've got a very, 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 very good team. Oh, do you know what I should have done for the last few games? I should have put the full team of the year team in, shouldn't I, on loan and try to get that win. Maybe we'll do that next, uh, next week, guys. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.